Welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. McFarlane Toys, as part of their summer showcase, showed off three new DC Multiverse figures this morning. And man oh man, we're in for treats. This is exactly up my alley. This is awesome. I'm very excited to see these characters making their DC Multiverse debut. Now, of course, over the years, we've got lots of different iterations of these characters, but... Um, these look pretty solid. I gotta give it to them all day. We need to talk about it. But before we do, I'm just gonna tell you, as always, if you'd like to pre-order anything you see here, all the links will be down in the description below. So thanks for using my links. They'll help the channel to grow. You know, all that kind of stuff at this point. So, the other day, they teased. They said, you know what? Part of our summer showcase, get ready to beware the Court of Owls. And they weren't lying, because now we have a regular single-figure Talon. He will be joining the DC Multiverse, and he looks fantastic. It looks like he walked right out of the comic book. He's got some nice golds. He's got all the weapons. See, we don't have to worry about guns in this situation, right? He's more of the knife and sword variety type, and he does it in spades. So, you got two types of knives, two types of swords. You got the sword holder, you got the stand, trading card, he looks great. He's even got his little Wolverine glove, right? You know, with little talons on there. So, I'm very excited for this guy. I'm looking forward to getting him, having him fight Batman, Nightwing, all that jazz on my shelf. Nice packaging as well. Like I said, it's a single figure, right? Standard $20 price point. So, if you need him, you can go ahead and pre-order him now. So, to move on, this is... Uh, Talon will be the only standard $20 figure. Now we're going to move into the mega figure business. And these are going to run you 40 bucks, of course. But you get a lot more figure. And uh, I'm liking what I'm seeing. I got two characters that I really dig. First one being Necron. The undead, underworld, creepy guy from Blackest Night. <laughs> Very cool to see him. We got a previous Mattel. It was a Build-A-Figure way back in the day. But this guy, he looks big, he looks menacing, he looks great. Nice paint detail. If he comes out, like I always say with McFarlane Toys, you kind of have to look at the figures, the promo photos, and go, okay, well, hopefully, right? Yeah, hopefully he comes out looking every bit as good as what we see here. So, yes, again, the mega figure type scale. So that runs anywhere between 8 to 10 inches. You know what I mean? Like that kind of thing where you're going to, it's in that realm. But, uh, yeah, that's the perfect size for old Necron. So very excited. It comes with this big old Black Lantern scythe, right? He's got this big old open chest, right? Oh, man, I love the way this thing looks. It's going to look great on my uh, DC well, just zombie shelf in general. It looks just all rotten and, ah, man, I'm very excited for Necron, if you couldn't tell. So Talon kind of moves one slate down. You got Necron uh, up top right now. Standard multiverse packaging for the mega figures. So very cool. Nonetheless, you're going to enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy it. So we'll look at him as soon as he comes out. So in order, right, so I got Necron at the top. You got uh, Talon at the bottom, and now, well, Necron's going to take a seat because we're getting Bane. And this Bane looks insane. <laughs> this thing looks incredible. I absolutely love the way that this came out. It's not quite Nightfall, and it's not like the new, new stuff. It's a nice, just overall, okay, that's Bane to me. Maybe you can even take the little harness thing off. Who knows? It remains to be seen. He's got his big green... Venom wires running all throughout. He's got the big canister on the back. This is every bit the Bane that I would like, right? It kind of incorporates a lot of the various ideas of Bane, but makes for a pretty classic, like, almost there. The only thing I'll say about Bane is that I really wish that he had interchangeable hands, right? He needed to have some fisted hands. That's something that, like, ah, that's... See, there's always, like, it's like, yes, and then you go, oh, wait, no, I needed that one thing. <laughs> He's still got the open grabby hands, right? You can grab Batman and just lift him up and break his back right over his knee, right? Hopefully he's got knee articulation. God, yeah, let's hope, right? No, he does. Just joking. So again, he's a mega figure. He's going to be humongous. And I love the artwork on the back of the box. That's pretty cool. All the venom is just oozing out of his mask, out of his mouth. Very cool. So, that's going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarlane Toys Summer Showcase DC Multiverse Reveals for their second day. I'm sure there'll be some more later down the road, right? Let's not just uh, jump the gun and say this is it. 
I think they got a lot more coming. We'll just say that. So, you've heard my thoughts. I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And again, just as a reminder, if you like to pre-order anything you see is here, Amazon's down there, Entertainment Earth's down there. I got you. Links abound. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, now I break you. I can't wait. That's, that's going to be in the video when I get this figure. Just FYI. It's over and over, right? And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.